Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin declined today and dipped further and deeper into the support area that was already well known and communicated. Mm, however, now it's very deep in support and I'm still watching for a potential reaction from here for a potential bounce to start this C wave there to the upside. Yeah, that would be wave C of a larger B wave. Um, Bitcoin doesn't need that large B wave as much as Ethereum does. Ethereum really desperately needs it. I will cover that in the Ethereum chart uh, chart video. Um, what, what would happen if we break through support? The thing is, um, if Bitcoin, for example, breaks through this initial support here at 62,300, the upper support region, micro support, yeah, we'll probably come down straight away and uh, wrap up this whole correction in one go. And then it is a larger A, B, C and way four will finish somewhere here. And then we can carry on with that uptrend in way five. Um, if we see a bounce from here, and that is very much what I would prefer, then it's likely that it's turning into A, then A, B, C and B, and then the C wave down. That would mean that the C wave doesn't need to come down that much in the support area and maybe we stay in the upper half of the support area. Yeah? I would still prefer that larger bounce, but as I mentioned, you know, this bounce that we've seen, which was a three wave rally, this bounce that started on Wednesday already reached the golden ratio level. I mean, it reached the 61.8 FIP level. That's okay for a B wave, absolutely, which is why I added yesterday this red wave B to communicate, okay, the, honestly, the B wave could com complete could have completed only three waves up. It failed to form five waves that keeps the door open to lower prices in a more direct pathway to the downside in wave C. Essentially what that means is Bitcoin is now approaching the decision level between yellow and red counts, where in the yellow count, we should see a start, the start of a C wave from here, but it's not showing yet. It's not showing yet and I think we can adjust this trend line possibly here. Yeah, but it's not showing yet. You know, a break above the trend line, I think would be a first indication that this C wave to the upside is starting. At the moment, yeah, no, no sign, but it might start from here. Maybe it's forming one more low. What it should avoid really is a sustained break below $62,300. If that happens, it will shift probabilities towards red in which the wave B has topped wouldn't be a problem for Bitcoin, would be a problem, however, for Ether, I think. Yeah? Even though we have to take every, every chart on its own, but how realistic is it that Bitcoin isn't going to do the larger B wave, but Ether is? Yeah, not, not, not super realistic. So I'm, I'm watching these support levels. They are very clear, 62,300. As long as we're holding this, I'm watching for a bounce in wave C of B. Basically, where could it land? So if it starts from here, and again, it's not showing yet, but if it starts from here, then we're looking first at the 100% extension level, basically just above 70K, could even stretch out a little further to 72, 73K. If this level breaks, then we have support again, just below that actually, but I just want to mention it as support again, um, at 61.8K. I mean, again, you know, it might just make one more low, a wick below support, touch the next level and then go. It's more like 62.3K, it needs to avoid a sustained break below it. So if we get that sustained break, we're likely heading down in wave C more directly. And assuming that wave B has topped already, highlighted here in red, what would be the target for wave C to the downside if we don't go the more extended um, B wave rally pathway? Well, then downside, yeah, would pretty much take us close to that 55.4K level, which is normally yeah, the ideal target for a fourth wave. So that's also why I'm thinking, you know, we, we get an ABC. Okay, if we get a larger B or not, that we'll see that shortly. But essentially, I prefer this. Um, I prefer the idea that obviously we haven't bottomed in wave four. Uh, so this wave four is still in the making. And there are, of course, many ways how this can unfold still. Even a triangle is an option, but there's no evidence for it. And, um, but we haven't rallied in five waves yet. So I have to assume this correction is extending somehow. The most straightforward pathway is just an ABC structure. And yeah, I mean, if the B wave top, 
then it can take us down to the 100% extension 56.4k very close to that 55.4k level there so there's fibonacci confluence down there but that area or that target would need to be adjusted if wave b extends a bit i hope that's still sort of clear i know it's quite complex but corrective subwave structures are complex obviously discussing microstructures of corrections doesn't really have much predictive potential because we're in a correction there are just too many potentials that's not so important what's important is to understand what are the relevant support levels and resistances that we can get from these wave counts yeah that's really what counts um still i try to help you understand the microstructure because i know a lot of people want to know um but but it's important to know these levels and that's the main purpose of tracking these micro counts in a correction is a first impulse emerging in one direction at the moment not at the moment we're moving up in corrections down in corrections so we're waiting for a first impulse to show that can give us a first indication that a low has formed in all of wave four but that hasn't shown at this stage that's my update about bitcoin hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye